Okay, one more, an important one. When you put that rack back in, okay, push that rack this, this way. Push it up so that it's butted up against this wall because these screws, when you take them out, there's some clearance. Okay, there's three of them. There's some clearance. So put them in, wiggle them into place. Don't tighten one and put the next one. Leave them a little bit loose and tighten them down gradually. But come in here and push that against that back wall. Uh, that's important. Otherwise, when you go back and forth with the calipers, uh, you'll feel a difference like it'll be smooth and then it'll jam and be scratchy. That's because if you don't put that, if that rack is not pushed up against that wall. And the other thing is uh, that, see these are zeroed. See how it's off like, oh, up two or three degrees. Okay, it is zeroed. It's just that, you know, <clears throat> I'm doing a one-handed. Okay, that, that rack, if you adjust that rack and push it left or right, you can tweak this to, to get it like straight up and down. But don't worry about that. You, you know, just adjust this and tighten this down. Just adjust that and be happy with it. Okay, okay, this definitely that's it. Okay, I just want to show again so there's no confusion on this pointed set screw. You can take them both out. Uh, but when you put it back in, you see the hole of the shim? There's a side view of this bowed shim. That bow is supposed to be there. Don't flatten it out. Don't bend it back and go, well, I, I fixed it. I made it flat because then you won't have correct adjustment. That bow is designed. It's supposed to be there. Uh, but see the hole? This doesn't have a hole. This flat one just comes and butts up against this. Okay, and so this pointed one fits into that hole. Understand? I just wanted to to make that clear. Okay, that's that's it. I think this is a pretty good uh, video in my opinion. Okay, this is uh, cleaning and kind of fixing Minotaurio. They're they're 505 something or other. Uh, there's another video on there where he takes them completely apart. Okay, so I just cleaned mine and. It fixed the problem. They work perfect. Although I, I was pretty shook up. I, I thought I was going to have to throw them away at one point because of a couple of things I'm going to tell you. So actually, I don't need to video me turning each screw. So I'm going to tell you some things. <clears throat> and also I have a sketch here. Uh, first of all, that rack in there has to come out. It should come out to clean these anyway. Uh, every so often because it gets so dirty. So the rack has to come out. Ignore any videos that you see where they don't take that rack out by taking the three screws out. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going I'm to show you why I'm pointing the camera at the pictures. Now this is an old set that I did two or three years ago and they also turned out perfect. But look at how dirty everything is in there. But see, see the rack is took out. You just take... you. Take off the end. This thing on the end, by the way, that thing there, those aren't screws. That's plastic. Those just push out. This just pops off, and then this whole thing comes out. You just go ahead and take it out, all the way off the end. Okay, so I want to show you this. Now there's, there's the rack, uh, but the stuff gets jammed down in there. It gets jammed down in the bottom of the little valleys. You cannot clean it with it in there. It has to be took out. Uh, I'll attach these pictures also, by the way. Okay, so you see how bad it is and dirty it is? It has to come out. Don't leave it in there just out of fear. Okay, now there, there it is cleaned up. <clears throat> nice and clean. Nice and clean, okay, but there's the crud. There is before I cleaned it with a wire brush. So it has to come out, spray some WD-40 on there, get a little wire brush, and th that crap has to come out of there. Because that will make your calipers read erratically when, you, and you don't know when because you'll check gauge blocks, and the gauge blocks are perfect. You go, well, there's, their uh, calipers are calibrated, but then at different times you'll get bad readings, three or four or five thousandths off. 
and run bad parts that you cannot detect because it'll be perfect in here and it'll hit that one and only in this range right here on some goofy dimension you could be 5,000 south. Now I operated like that accidentally for years not knowing what the hell was going on. So that rack has to come out. See how nice and pretty it is after it's cleaned? Okay, now, <clears throat> so you take the rack out, you just get your drill and screwdrivers and, and take out the screws, the three screws. You know, pull, take that whole thing off after you take that little plastic thing off. Take out the three screws, get the rack off of there, clean it, clean the body of this WD-40, scrub it out, wipe it down. Uh, okay, now here's the two main notes where I'm kind of supplementing the other videos. You see this, this stuff here? Don't take that off of there. The way, the way this face comes off is you pop it up carefully with uh, uh, a screwdriver or something. So it comes up. But once you get that dial off of there, first of all, it's hard to get off of there. And it's almost impossible to get it back on right. Also, underneath there, there's a couple of gears with springs and once they're removed the spring comes out the preload comes out it's almost impossible to get back on there right so if you look at the comments which I did that it's almost impossible to get it back together if you're if you're having to take this apart I'll tell you right now your, your calipers are probably scrapped because they won't repeat afterwards don't do it do not take this apart uh, oh now, down in there is that brass, brass shim. It's like 30, 40 thousandths thick, and it comes out, it flops out when you pull this off. Well, it goes up here, and that bow, see, it's partly bowed, like, like that. So, in other words, this sketch is just like that, what you're looking at, in that position. So, that bow has to go down uh, against, against this part. Otherwise, if it's the other way, these things will be hitting like this, and you'll be scratching on the end. And you open and close the calipers, you go, God, how come it, it feels kind of scratchy? Well, that's why. That bow has to go down. Also, this pointed set screw is on, it's this one. Don't put it in there in this position, because it's this one. When you put that shim in, you know, you put this on, you put it back on. Now, this is all loose. This is shaky loose. And so you take the shim, and you stick it in there, uh, and the... Uh, the hole, you know, the hole is right here. The hole's got to be there. It can't be there. It has to be there because that's what that pointed set screw is for. It fits into the hole. Okay, now you get this shim in there with the hump down. Well, how do you get it in line? Okay, because the end of the shim just barely is right in there, like ten thousandths below the surface. You'll see it. You'll, you'll see it. So, in other words, you put it in there. The hump is down, and the hole is on this end. The hole is this end, not that end. Okay, so you put it in there and you go like maybe five thousandths past the metal here. And that's what lines the hole up. Now when you tighten this down, that point goes into the hole and wiggles it into position and locks it into place. Okay, and so you, you screw it down and back off by like uh, a quarter, quarter turn, not even that much. Same with this one. Tighten them both down and then back off a quarter and move it back and forth and you'll have perfect smooth movement. Because see these, it pushes down here on this end of the bow and then this other one pushes down here so it gives you some spring adjustment. So, some spring adjustment. Even when you back off, it's still got some bow and pressure to it. Okay, but if it's the other way, these screws come down and they hit directly. And so it immediately, because the, the hump is up, well, then you don't have any spring action. Uh, and I think that's it. I'll include the photos. Uh, I think that's it. It's got to come apart, be clean, take the rack out. Don't take this apart. I'm warning you. Don't take it apart. Um, okay, that's, that's it.